afternoon uh, or morning, I guess, if you're on the west coast or elsewhere, and evening if you're elsewhere than that. Uh, it is currently 3 p.m. EST where I am stationed, and we're going to be playing uh, a real oddity of a game today. Uh, it's called Mobile Suit Gundam Xeonic Front. It is a, I think, first-person tactics game uh, for the PlayStation 2. What I can tell you about it is that the manual is 60 pages long. Uh, makes the case really heavy. Uh, other than that, I don't remember too much about it. I played it right when I got it a little bit to see if it was like any good. Turns out it is, but it's a lot to think about. Uh, so uh, now I'm here with with that. Okay, why is why is it always got to be difficult like this? Uh, game capture, please. That sound capture. I can see the game. I cannot hear the game. Let me turn that on. I hope. Wouldn't be an indie VTuber stream without technical difficulties. Hold on. Game Capture HD, please. One moment, please, it says. On Elgato. Uh, I'm assuming you're not getting any game audio, yeah? Cool, cool, cool. Uh, interesting, interesting. Video looks nice, though. Uh, let's try again. Pretend like nothing happened. Pay no attention to the VTuber behind the curtain. Is there audio? Uh, something is fishy. Something is not going right with my Elgato. Because it's not outputting to my other monitor either. I just tested this. Why you gotta be like this? Something is wrong. Hmm. But what? But what though? Alright, take three. Third time's definitely the charm. Now it's going to the monitor, but I still can't hear it. Cool. And by cool, I mean not cool at all, of course. Uh, so if I open Elgato's software, this worked for Ape Escape yesterday. Or not yesterday, Wednesday. 
Thursday. Thursday is the day that I play this game. There should be audio. Yes? Yes. But it's not... But it's not updating on the screen. Oh, God. What the? There's no video. What? What? It's not the disc. Because it's playing fine. Oh, my God. back up to normal levels. My bad. I'm learning so much about how to be like a functional uh, anything. Probably actually just want to turn video capture device audio off and just leave it at desktop because otherwise you're probably going to get it twice. Well I turned off the video one. Can you still hear it? Uh, too quiet? Bon is like furiously gesturing to me in pantomime and I'm trying to interpret what it means. I have no idea. informed me that there is no issue they were just having fun making hand gestures all right cool so uh yeah this is mobile suit gundam zionic front it's a third person uh tactics game as i mentioned the manual is like 60 pages long 
and it's got full English voice acting, so that's really all we need to know to get started, I think. Uh, it looks like this, as the eye catch, kind of demonstrates. We're getting in there. 2001. Alright, I'm gonna do a new game, because I played, like, the tutorial and one mission of this previously, like, a year and a half ago. Yeah, let's do a training mission. Let's all learn this together. Tony, how are you doing today on this fine Sunday? You getting ready for like the big Italian dinner or uh, what's the plan? I take it you're ready. You will now commence training. Follow the on-screen instructions. That's him. That's Char. Is this the fastest I can- I think this is the fastest I can walk. Ah, oh, no, there's a run button. Chicken cutlets. Okay, so you run in the direction of the camera, and you control the camera with the right stick like a normal game. Left stick is move, uh, and you can sprint so far with with L. Cool. I do love that every game does teach you how to walk for the first time, even though it's usually the same. Uh, I love that era of games where they needed to teach you what a game was, basically. All right, time for the next VR mission. Nice. Okay. Heat Hawk, let's go. Very cool. Destroy all three targets. You can't fire during reload, you don't say. Going in for the melee attack. Select the weapon that is appropriate to your circumstances. Thank you, Char. I will. I need like a salute emote for my puppet here so that I can properly salute Char. Alright, what else we gotta know? Because so far it's just me controlling myself, but this is a tactics Universal game. Century, ah, Thor. March 11th. The second Earth descent operation has begun. I should have played this earlier in the month. The Shit. Oh well. If I'd only played this like a week earlier, could have played this on March 11th in uh, 2021 AD. Hi, Chariot Arcana. Hello. Zabi will be the commander in charge of capturing North America. Oh, then nothing could possibly go wrong. I suspect this will be a smashing success. I'm honored to be commander of such outstanding soldiers and in charge of capturing the North American territory. Me too, Garma. I don't need to explain to you the importance of this operation. Karma, did your voice just deepen between cutscenes? We will conquer North oh, America okay. to establish a base from which we can move to take over Jaburo, the Federation's <coughs> general headquarters in South America. All right, so we're taking over the North American continent so that we can get to South America. I guess that makes sense. Let's strangle the Federation by the throat. I wish you all the best of luck. Over. Sounds good, Karma. I'm happy to do it. What is this? Is this like more Gundam lore? Oh, no, this is what we just saw. Okay, okay, okay. There's the simulator, which I'm guessing is training. Uh, I guess let's just get right to it. 
Fenrir Fang. This is very cool, very edgy. Fenrir Fang. Uh, can you request a clone high JFK voice? Uh, I don't have that uh, character voice thing enabled, but maybe you should. Um, hold on, let me let me try it real quick off mic before I embarrass myself, because that would just be a shame. I see you're all here. Wait, actually, I gotta listen to this guy, and then I'll give you your clone high JFK voice. All right, all right. So we gotta get to the airport before our plane takes off. The HLV will drop us off close to the enemy airbase. We will move in at once to take over the base before the enemy has a chance to organize a counter. -attack. A counter attack, capital C. Hmm, it's not the enemy's counter attack you need to worry about. Our intelligence has located the enemy headquarter. It's here. It's here. It's this green pixel. That's the enemy headquarters. Spotted by a lookout, you'll divulge our location, and the enemy will call in their defense troops. It's vital that you destroy those lookouts first. All right. I guess, I guess there's something important that I must do. We think the enemy will be mainly using Type 61 tanks, but do not underestimate this vehicle's power. We have also detected several Medea craft along the landing strip. There's no reason you should let them get away. Either destroy the aircraft before they take off, or seize the control tower. Gundam in English really does trip me up, though. It just objective, feels wrong. Take over the base headquarters. Second objective, eliminate the base's defense troops. And third objective, seize the control tower. I do appreciate that this is fully voice acted, though. Like, that is very cool. They could have just had them do, like, grunts, like, hmm, and then, you know, do the text. Like a visual novel type thing. This is cool. We must not give the enemy a chance to organize. This will be your first battle as the Midnight Fenrir. Midnight Fenrir. Let's go. All right. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. I did the training. Okay. Are we done with voice acting? All right. Uh, Bon in the chat requested a JFK clone high voice. One second. Let me let me see if I can do that. I'll mute myself real quick and then pop myself back on. Nothing bad ever happens to the zombies! There we go. I think that's what you wanted. I hope that's good. Make, make a clip of that, I guess. We'll put that on YouTube. That'll get me the viewers, I'm sure. Uh, take notes. All right, time to blow up an airport, I guess. Uh, wait. Star mission? Okay, no. I can set up my team with beloved 0079 characters such as Lieutenant Roar and MCPO Austin. I don't think I have a choice. I think it's just these two guys. Oh, he's got the Zaku 1. That's so sad. Not even the Zaku 2. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Applause. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I'm sure this will be fine. So, uh, I keep calling this a tactics game. So far, I've only had the myself controls. But I know a little bit later in the game, or maybe here, you basically like plot out waypoints for your AI companions to follow. Uh, and then there's like very simple logic stuff you can do, like when they get to a certain point, they like wait for your signal, uh, and things like that, which I think is very cool and ambitious for this kind of game. All units, give us the status report. Ah, it's my battle navi. Blue team, all clear. Blue team, all clear. Red team, all clear. Red team, all clear. All right. Schmitzer. All right, cool. Mission start. If Zaku is so good, why isn't there a Zaku 2? There is! I'm piloting the Zaku 2. Alright, fuck it. I'm getting in there. I'm sprinting in ahead. Yeah, so you can see I've got, like, the blue team marker. Which is what I'm following, because I'm on blue team. And then there's the red team marker, which the other jobber team of Zaku 1s are following. Uh, and I don't care. I don't care about stealth or nothing. Uh, okay, so yeah, for my commands list, I can issue, like, orders and stuff. Uh, but I don't know... Anything about that right now. 
Zaku 1 is the ultimate jobber, it's true. Zaku 1 is also, like, not over with, like, the Gundam fandom. Alright, see a soldier. Yep. Thank you, team. I've deviated from my path, I think. They wanted me to go a different way. I'm going the long way. Right, I probably have a health bar somewhere, right? I'm not sure which one is the health bar. Oh. Uh, I just definitely took a big ch chunky hit because I like was not able to move. But I don't know what bar on my screen should be the health bar. I do know I'm going to melee a turret, though. Oh. Okay. Viewers at home, what bar on my screen was the health bar that I needed to be watching? Because I did not see it. Uh, but blue team leader is Crash. I've already died on my first mission. Smashing success. Do I have like, to, to watch my team uh, finish the job? Do I get to re retry? Interesting. I guess I could just let my team finish the job. I'm also assuming there's like permadeath for the characters that uh, you send out here. Like a... Uh... Okay, hold on. All units, give us the status report. Blue team, all clear. Red team, all clear. Okay. All right, commence operation. Yeah, permadeath? Is that a Fire Emblem reference? Okay, so one of these has to be a health bar. Is it like the... Oh! Oh my goodness, okay. So I can swap if I'm red team or blue team leader. That's interesting. Like, whenever. Interesting. Maybe it's the little green bars under the move on the, like middle right section maybe those are my health bars it's like if i swap to red team again there's like a lot to unpack here like can i ambush this guy as blue team goes to intercept is that like the plan no i'm supposed to go this way And then if I swap back to blue team, how's blue team doing? We love UI, yep. Alright. Soldier's having a bad time, it seems like, but that's okay. That's a lot of tanks just chilling in a field. They were like having a picnic. Well, they're gone now. Ow. Uh, still not sure what bar on my screen indicates the amount of damage my mobile suit can withstand. Because I don't see anything going down when I get hit like that. Enemy. Ah, but red team has already got my back. Because we're now meeting up. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, thank you, Red Team. Uh, am I supposed to go through the forest? Yeah, okay. I love these billboarding trees. This is really, like, arcade-y. This makes me think of, like, an arcade racing game. When trees are, like, just billboarding sprites. Just taking a leisurely stroll through the forest. Enemy unit. Man, the Zaku one really is a job. You have to like com come to a complete standstill to fire your giant uh, 
tube rocket. Oh well, I'm sure we'll get cooler ones. There's like a, a dom on the box, so I'm sure we'll get to pilot one of those soon enough. I'll be amazed if they let me pilot the goof. Uh, but maybe. This is supposed to be like a one-year war tie-in, so I guess that's not outside the realm of possibility. Oh, I think I skipped a cutscene. I meant to go hit start or select like you do in Metal Gear to answer the call, and I think I just skipped it. Okay, well. Nice, that was easy. Thanks, AI. Nice, wow, I'm so good at this game. First try. the enemy's request to surrender. Roger. The remaining enemy troops have begun disarming. All teams are ordered to guard the secured area until our main forces arrive. Man, am I like a pro gamer? First try? No deaths? No casualties on this mission? No permadeath? Wow. Wow. Maybe I am a new type after all. Our mission was a success. We managed to take over the airbase while keeping the facilities intact for our use. We also proved that a surprise attack could be carried out by a small mobile suit unit. And, even on land, the team could still be quite effective. Nice. Zero penalty. Rank B. You can do better than that. I guess that's true. I don't know if I can, but one could definitely do better than that. Three minutes, 31 seconds. Am I about to get roasted? They're calling you out, yeah? So you have a new training. You'll learn basic battle tactics. Engage in training missions? Yes. All right, so I know Tony's making chicken cutlets right now. Because, uh, like, nothing says Sunday like... Gundam and uh, chicken. What's everyone else up to on Sunday? Uh, I just had a bunch of wontons and we went to go get uh, grass seed to plant grass. That's my entire day. And now I'm here in, in 0079. Yeah, I mean literally Kusa, it's true. Ow. Oh, I know. Okay, now I know what bar is my health. It's that one. They should have told me that earlier. It's the one that there's a box on. Got him. Attack from blind spots to win. Just this poor unsuspecting GM just standing around in virtual reality. Oh, I just like hit him over the head. He just like fell over. Didn't blow up or anything. That's cool. I guess we've avoided a nuclear catastrophe. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I see, I see, okay. I'm getting destroyed by this guy. Do I need to, like, strafe out of view? Is that even possible? I'm not taking damage. I guess I can't lose the tutorial. Alright. Whose footprints are these? I guess I need to, like, go behind them? Is that what they were trying to tell me? Nope. Okay, he can see me again. What am I meant to do?
All right, cool. I guess they want me to sneak up on that guy somehow. But it seems like he's kind of just facing this way. Maybe I need to go, like, really the long way around. If I stand still... Okay, no. Don't work like that. Hmm. I'm not clear on how I'm meant to defeat this one. It's like, that doesn't do anything. At this range, his health bar is not depleting. Hmm. And here I thought I was a gamer. But I can't even beat the tutorial. No, I don't have other ammo. It's, like, decided by range. Like, if I get close enough, I use, like, the missile. And if I get really close, I use the heat hawk. Oh. Wait, no? Wait, did that do something? I don't know... What I'm doing wrong here. I mean, I guess I could, like, just abort the tutorial if I can't figure it out. But I feel like it must be trying to teach me something. I just don't know what... Because, like, if I go around the side of this guy... Oh, wait, is he, like, constantly, like, turning? He's, like, look... Oh, okay. Nope. Now he sees me. I have no idea. Fake gamer, yeah. That's what I'm trying to do, right? But he's, like, turning around. So like I'm out of out of sight range. And it's like okay. If I'm trying to get behind him, I'd be over here. Oh wait, maybe that is what I need to do. Cause he keeps turning around like that. Yeah, the blue circle means that they can't see me. Uh there we go. You were right. I thought I was doing it, but I wasn't. Even a heavily armored mobile suit is vulnerable if attacked from the rear. Rather than approaching the enemy head on, try finding a way to get them from behind. Thanks, Char. I will. More training. And he just disappeared. So, uh, Barbarian Kitten, there's a thing in the Gundam universe called Minovsky particles, which are like radar jammers, which is why like they can't just use like normal existing military tech to find these like building sized robots. Uh, and it like, apparently they just like can't see also. Uh, I'm sure like uh, Tony or someone in chat could explain Minovsky particles pretty well too, but they're basically like the thing, the magic MacGuffin that they use to hand wave why it's like stealth is possible when you're 40 feet tall. Minovsky particles can block your MSD. That's what I was just saying. I'm like, able to predict this. So I can switch to thermal. Pine to trees, that makes sense. Very small detect range. And then we have sonar. Through sound wave detection. And so you can't hear them when they're standing still. This is a lot to process. This is a lot of tools at my disposal here. Nothing on radar, nothing out the window. Okay, so I can't go detected this time.
so there's this guy over here. Got him. Easy. That was much easier. Oh wait, is there more? Okay, no. Always be aware of your surroundings and move quickly. Be careful not to let the enemy get behind you. So wise, Commander Char. You're so right. Don't get shot by the enemy. Really good battle advice. All right. Is that like? With the aid of carpet bombing by the Gao attack carriers, we've caused extensive damage to New York. Oh shit, New York. I'm sorry. I don't wish to cause extensive damage to New York, but I guess I did. I thought we were like All somewhere else. To do now is to wipe out their remaining military strength. Okay. On the other side of the continent, our invasion force was advancing to California base, but it's been stalled by the enemy's persistent resistance. So why does this one get to be California, like spelled normally, but the other one has to be New York? Unless that's a localization error? But that seems like a strange typo to make. Thanks to your efforts, we have secured most of New York. All oh, okay. To do is to take out the remaining forces. Okay, Garma. The North American operation has been proceeding according to plan. However, there are some areas of concern. For instance, here. Here. The troops attempting to secure California base are facing heavy resistance from the enemy's defense. Here. New York. Reinforcements will be sent as soon as mop-up operations in New York are complete. In the meantime, we'll send your unit. Your mission is to break through this point. It is known to be the heaviest defense line in this area. I trust that your unit will succeed. The leader of the invasion force will give you details when you arrive. Over. I love that randomly during that cutscene, Garma's voice would just become much deeper. I'm guessing it's like an audio transcoding error, but, uh... Mission double O2, or single O2. <laughs> Breakthrough. Alright. Breakthrough. I just noticed on that world map on the load screen, there's a gigantic hole off the tail of Australia, and I'm going to have to point that out next time we get there. That's, uh, that's world building, baby. My troops are attempting to break through the final defense line of California base. The enemy has set gun turrets in several crucial locations. They formed a perimeter to protect their base. Okay. Besides, we're having a really hard time with their fighter copters. This has been a devastating blow for us. Our casualties are on the rise. That's why I've requested the support of a mobile suit unit. But I certainly hope your unit's war record is reliable. <sighs> well, never mind. Just get us through their defense line. I'm counting on you to get results. I'm one for one. 100% win rate. Our troops attacking California base have found it tough to break the enemy's powerful defense line. Powerful defenses. We haven't even been able to provide adequate air support because of the presence of anti-aircraft units situated within the base. Therefore... Our mission is to infiltrate the enemy defense line at the assigned area and provide an opening for our allied troops. In the first stage of our plan, we will descend at a point just outside the enemy's air defense territory. This is where the enemy's defense line is weakest. We'll force our way through this area and position ourselves behind the enemy. While we attack from behind, our allied forces will advance across the defense line. In order to camouflage our movements, our allied troops are expected to launch a diversionary frontal attack at the precise moment we break through the enemy defense line. Okay, so this is what I was talking about before, where, like, the AI will, like, wait for your signal at certain key points and things like that. I don't need to emphasize the fact that any delay in this operation will cause greater casualties to our allies. We must proceed... Okay, okay. Over. Yes. Understood. Um... Yes. So, a cool thing about this taking place in, like, specifically the beginning of the One Year War, in a Gundam chronology in the Universal Century, which we're in, uh, Universal Century Year 79 starts the One Year War, when Zeon, who are the guys that we're playing as right now, get their, like, Zaku 1s and 2s, and it's overwhelmingly strong, because the Earth Federation doesn't have mobile suits yet. They have, like, the GMs, which are, like, construction robots, I think? Um, and they're, like, not really used for, like, military operations. Uh, and so they just get their, uh, butts kicked pretty hard. 
And then, like, you get the Gundam, uh, is, like, revealed as, like, a top-secret project that they need to deploy to defeat Zeon. Uh, so that's why, like, our missions currently are fighting, like, turrets and tanks, even though we're, like, walking robots. Uh... Okay, I can't change my suit yet, I don't think. As much as I want to. Wait, really? So we- uh, I, it's been a while since I've watched, uh, 0079. Is the Gundam really the first Fetty suit in, like, the show? They were really just fighting Zaku's with, like, helicopters in space or whatever? That's weird. I guess I'm a fake fan, in addition to being a fake gamer. I see, I see. Uh, you're right though, Chariot Arcana. That's like, the. that's why it's a work of sci-fi, and not just sci. That's the emphasis on the fiction part. Will be the operator filling in for Ensign Charlotte. A pleasure to work with you. Ensign who? All units, move out. Destroy all fighter copters. Protect our allies from aerial attacks. Oh, GMs were based on the Gundam. I thought it was the other way around. Man, that's really funny. Yeah, so the Zaku 1 and Zaku 2 are basically the apex predators for like the next six months. I'm assuming I'll have to fight a Gundam at some point here. But, uh,. What are these guys up to? Enemy unit. Cool. I'm using the skills that I was taught in the, the, the training thing. I'm swapping between radar and thermal and sonar. I feel like we should probably not stand still. Cool. And there's a helicopter. Probably can't get a lock on it though, unless it stands still, which it does. Okay. We cross the bridge. What's blue team up to? They having a hard time? Alright, it seems like things are going well over here. Tom Clancy's Gundam. Yeah, I think that might be something. Uh, the back of the box likens this game to Rainbow Six Siege, which I don't know how accurate that is because I actually haven't played that game. But, uh... Ow. Ooh, perfect. I swapped places just in time to get hit. I feel like I'm deviating from my path. Ah, oh, and I can see, okay. Blue team on the other side. Cool, we did it. Easy. Just run and gun. Confirmed. Destruction of gun turret group. We finally breached the enemy defense line. I thank you for your support. Roger. We confirm advancement of allied troops past the defense line. All right. Mission complete. We'll pull back and await further orders. First try, but actually, though, this time... I think the next mission is when they teach me how to plot those courses on my own. Uh, and then there's like a planning phase before each mission. But the they're trying to the ease us into it, I think. Our troops took advantage of our success and overran other weakened areas, thereby collapsing the rest of the enemy defense line. They've advanced to the next stage of the invasion, and we will soon join them in capturing California base. B. S. 
Oh, I'm a new type, gang. Rank S. You are a true ace pilot. That's great. We love that. Uh, in fact, uh, that makes me quite happy. Uh, thank you, game. I appreciate your, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna take that back in a little bit, I think. But for now, let's enjoy it. Rank S. I'm the new type. It's me. I don't know what I did differently that time. Uh, that made it think it was an S rather than a B. Maybe I was just faster. I don't know. A lot of it's the AI, though. Like, it's not very much uh, in the way of what you need to do. I feel like maybe I got hit less also. S for Skeleton. It's true. Ah, yes. Now we learn how to coordinate a team. Each team can have up to three mobile suits. Advance to the operation point. Don't mind if I do. I'm here. Team members follow the leader. Blue team. Red team. Switch team. Directional button down. Yep. I was doing that before. So when I switch teams with the directional buttons, teammates and non-operated allied MS uh, mobile suits attack automatically. Okay. Getting blocked by my own teammate. Easy. The outcome of a battle is not determined by the capabilities of the mobile suit itself. What matters is your ability to control the mobile suit and your range of tactics. So wise, Commander. He's not wrong, though. That's why he's able to get so much done with just Azaku, too. Uh, yes, let's do the next mission. I wonder how much these simulator missions were influenced by uh, Metal Gear Solid 1's VR missions, because they look very similar, but I guess there's only so many ways you can do, like, wireframe, grid. Okay, so they're going to teach me about waypoints and uh, things like that now. Team waits at operation point. Launch battle code for team to resume movement en route. Launch battle code. L2 plus X button. Uh, okay. Oh. Code Alpha. Code Alpha. Move to the next operation point. Okay, so I'm over here, and I gotta command my team to get in there when he's not looking. Cool. It all makes sense. Predict what the enemy is about to do next. That will always give you the upper hand. So smart. Man, this guy's a real genius. Okay, so I can set operation points and route menu set up, then set battle codes for your advantage. I will not know how to do that effectively, but that's cool. Very ambitious uh, for a PlayStation 2 game, I feel like. The force in charge of capturing California bait successfully broke through the powerful enemy defense line with our unit's valuable assistance. All that's left is to secure California base. Passage leading into the enemy base was discovered during our last battle. In the next mission, 
Our team will work independently and use this passage to sneak into the enemy's underground facilities. You all did a fabulous job. It's only a matter of time before we take over California base. Other Gundam folks in the chat, am I wrong in thinking that Garmo's voice just does not match the character uh, in this English dub? It just seems so wrong. I'd like to inform you of a hidden route found during our last battle. Our analysis indicates that it's a former underground water vein now being used as a passage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not rich boy enough. He's not posh enough. He's not twink enough. We presume that at the end of the passage are caves, where you will find the underground facilities of California base. You're telling me there are caves underground? Leave the fighting above ground main forces. What I want you to do is use the passage to the underground facilities. It will lead you straight to a factory. It's important that you do everything you can to avoid destroying the facilities. I understand how difficult this is, but I trust that your unit will succeed, even under such constraints. I will try my best. Okay. Good news. We discovered Zaku's aboard the machine we captured earlier. Do I get more Zaku's now? I ordered the crew to dispatch them to you, along with pilots. Oh, and I just get to I get to keep the pilots of the Zaku's as a gift. Thanks, Garma. Okay, see, uh, on Australia here, there's a big hole right where they dropped the colony on this map. Uh that's, I guess, funny isn't the right word, but, uh, interesting, I guess. Operation British. Let's go, baby. Love the Operation British. Love the Xeon. All right. <clears throat> uh, I should save. When was the last time I played this game? Uh, October 11th, 2019. Cool. What is the... What is the timestamp? Because it can't be hours. Because I just booted up this file like 40 minutes ago? Oh, is that the time? Oh, it's 4 o'clock, right? Oh, it's the time my PS2 thinks it is. Okay. Um, never mind. I thought that was like time spent. Okay, quit loading. Yeah, we're good. Uh, so now let's check out our new pilots. Shock troops. Shock troops. Let's see what lovable cast of cuddly characters get added to our roster. I'm sure they'll all be wonderful and deep characters that we'll learn to love across this journey. We discovered a passage during our last battle. Yeah, yeah, Karma told us, yeah. Indicate that it leads to the underground facilities of California base. Judging from its condition, we're presuming that the facilities are built within an existing cave. We've confirmed that there is no water at our entry point. We should have no difficulty entering the passage in our mobile suits. Gundam people in the chat once again, do mobile suits typically have difficulty with water? Like, I know there's the aquatic specialist types, like the Akagai and the, the Zok and all of them. Uh, Zagok, everybody's favorite. But I thought, like, all suits were fine underwater. Uh, I didn't know that that was, like, a typical issue. Given the fact that this was a water vein, there's a very good chance that the facilities are an underground dock. An underground dock. In any case... Who would have guessed there'd be a cave located here? Mother Earth is full of surprises. There's a cave underground? In California? No one could have seen this coming. Our objective is to enter the enemy facility through the underground passage and capture all important facilities and any of the submarines. We have the technology to build submarines, but unfortunately we lack the manufacturing plants to construct them in the space colony. Okay, I really like this guy telling the squadron of 40-foot-tall robots that don't worry, we do know how to build submarines. The technology is there. We can build boxes that go underwater. Don't worry. It's not more advanced than your 40-foot-tall robot. Alright, they're not waterproof. That's fair, I guess. Alright. Gaining control of their shipyard and any submarines is crucial if we are to successfully advance through our missions and secure our place on Earth. 
it's not a great looking submarine, but I mean, I'm just gonna chalk that up to like the PlayStation 2. Uh, there's not a whole lot to look at. Circumstances should damage be allowed to occur to the facilities or submarines. You may, however, destroy the power plant and command center. According to our information, it should be here. Destroying the power plant may temporarily disable most functions of the enemy base. Their defense troops rely on the command center. Destroying it will give us an opportunity to secure the dock. Also, some Zakus and a pilot. Nikki Roberto. Nikki Roberto. They will join us for this operation. Over. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, team set up. Tell me all about Nikki Roberto. Okay, cool. Uh, do they have like stats? Or anything? Like, uh, MCPO Austin, why would I put him in over Roberto? I guess we're going to see what Roberto can do. He's got, like, a Zaku too, so that's cool. But I guess the bazooka was good. Oh, wait, but Hepner has a shield, which seems like a tactical advantage. I'm going to swap her out. Wait, did... Oh, he also had a shield, though. What's the difference? Or are they the same and it's just like one of them's gonna die eventually? Because I'm gonna fuck it up. Gundam Day. Yeah, quite, 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 quite. Welcome to the chat. Uh, or welcome to the stream, I should say. Um, yeah, we're playing Mobile Suit Gundam Zionic Front, which is a tactics game uh, for the PS2. Came out in 2001. I am currently making my team. I don't know the difference between all these people. I think I want the Zaku one because the bazooka did seem handy. So I don't know. Uh, gonna put the girl in. Go Ensign Hefner. All right. Uh, advice. Oh, I can talk to my team. Now then, let's assume our so-called head. Oh no, there's full voice acting. If we are to achieve quick results, let's break into teams with distinct objectives. We'll move simultaneously, but separately. The major reason for this strategy is the confined environment which may limit the movement of our mobile suits. Bunching up would further decrease our maneuverability, making us easy targets for the enemy. Although, if we did stay together, it would increase our firepower. The other reason is that we have a short time limit with this mission, since it's vital that we secure the core facilities intact. Matt and I will go as a team to the interior. Who's Matt? We should secure the entry point. Uh, first. that would be my plan. Is that one of these other characters? Huh? huh? If worse comes to worst, the entry point will also be our escape route. We're trusting a snotty-nosed kid like you with our lives. Guard the entrance as best you can. Oh, and your job for this mission is to survive. Try not to forget that. Yeah, I know. Full voice acting for all these brand new OCs. That's fun. This is so totally wrong. Why would you put someone like him in charge of a team? Like who? Ensign Nikki doesn't have oh. experience as an officer. I don't think I did. Did I? I've had more experience in actual battle. Is no, but I No, no, but I I put her in charge I put her in charge of a team. Someone Ma'am, you are a team leader. Men and women when it comes to the battlefield. The way I see it, you and Nikki are both a couple of kids. We've still got lots to do. Besides, the operator's job is very important. Well, that's true, but but you still haven't convinced me it's for the best. You've got to give me a chance. Please include me in the sortie. I'll prove to sortie. you what you said. Man, oh man, what a pain in the neck. Man, oh man, what a pain in the neck. Ma'am, you are literally on the attack squad. You're a blue team leader. And the guy you were complaining about 
Nicky Roberto is not. He's on standby. He's benched. I don't know what you're upset about. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. Alright. Well, let's see if she can live up to her talk. She can talk the talk. Can she walk the walk? I'm probably going to have to, like, plot a course also, because they taught me how to do that before the last mission. I believe in her. I hope so. Oh, I I think I do the plotting from the previous page. Whatever. All right. All teams, begin your advance. I repeat, begin your advance. Inside of the cave has no shelter and lacks sufficient space. Be extra cautious. Okay, so I've got my call signs here, so I can tell everybody to like, uh, halt. I think. No, I guess not yet because we haven't gotten anywhere. Alright, cool. Okay. Uh, I guess because I didn't plot like a course, I can't use my call signs. Like, then it'll just don't do anything. Um, I gotta remember to do that. Oh, looks like I'm actually crawling up on something. Uh, I'm guessing that big blue circle is like something important. Are these turrets I'm blowing up? Yeah. Uh, okay, so... I guess it's not important. My boys want to keep going forward. What's going on with these guys? Yeah, no, I can't tell them to do anything either. Hmm. Destruction of power plant confirmed. Enemy facilities impaired. Love to impair the enemy facilities. I guess there's like a... I want to melee a tank! Oh, fine. Securing of material storage confirmed. I wanted to melee the tank, but... It did not let me. Oh, blue team I guess just kind of stopped where I sat them. Can't do that. Oh. All base functions recovered. That was quick. Oh. That hurts quite a bit. Uh huh. I'm in a uh, very bad shape. I don't know if I can get Red Team to come, like, bail me out or anything. Can I tell them to attack? Or do my teammates get it? Uh... Oh, 
Oh, it's still operational? Shit. The gates will open in three minutes. Damn, there's like a lot of stuff here. Where's my other team at? I would assume we're supposed to rendezvous at some point, but I don't know where, because I can't zoom out far enough on the map. For now, it's just walking through a cave, totally unencumbered. Oh, I'm about to be encumbered. Okay. I can't tell if I'm doing well or not. I don't know if I'm close to meeting my objective, and two minutes is plenty of time, or if I'm, like, way behind where I need to be. Securing of munition storage confirmed. All right. All that's left now is the dock. Hurry. Roger. Roger. Yeah, so like, on my uh, mini-map there, it looks like blue team is just kind of standing still. And like, on previous missions, they were moving around and stuff, even without me. So, I'm not sure what's up with that. Let me melee the tank! The gates will open in one minute. What are you doing? Hurry. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of confused. I feel like I'm deviating from the path, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Isn't this the way we came? I'm confused. I'm like just following this like red line, but I think I have uh, beefed it. I'm not sure how though. Yeah, I don't see myself getting anything important done. Uh, I don't think I needed to command them to auto run, but I guess I didn't. Uh, I will re-examine that at the game over. I guess let's retry. Because there's no way I get that solved in uh, four seconds. I thought they just like go on their own. For the most part. Commander, our allied troops have commenced their attack. All right, all teams begin your advance. I repeat. Begin your advance. The inside of the cave has no shelter and lacks sufficient space. Be extra cautious. Yeah, yeah, we did that before. I don't know, because, like, I've got these call signs, which I guess work for the other team, uh, but I didn't have anything happen when I pressed them before. But, I mean, maybe I made them just, like, stand still by accident. That'd be embarrassing. Hmm. 
Well. Huh. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Because, like, that time it also seemed like the red team just stopped and I can't command them. I guess I need to just swap back and forth? Like, all the time? Commander, hmm. Our allied troops have commenced their attack. All right. All teams, begin your advance. I repeat, begin... Yeah, yeah. That's just strange, because, like, the first couple missions, the other team would go, like, fully independently. And lack sufficient space. Be extra cautious. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure what the... So, like, red team's gonna get to the center of that crossroad, and they're gonna just stop. So, I guess I need to swap. And then, does blue team do anything on their own? Or. I can't tell if blue team is moving. Like if I, okay, so they're just not moving on their own though. Do I really have to do both of these? There's no auto. Okay, red team is going back to the center of that crossroad. Are they just gonna stay put there? No, they're moving up now. They are moving on their own. Nope, never mind. They're staying put. What the hell? I guess I gotta move them all by myself. Wait, did I like need to? I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a bad commander. Am I like going in circles? Cause like there's this big blue line that's not going the same way that I am. It's just like the end. Okay, I guess that's a submarine. I've been instructed not to blow up the submarines. Ow. So now if I swap back to the red team. Hopefully this is just fine. The gates will open in three minutes. I don't know if the red line like going straight from me to like the center or is that to the other team? That would make sense, I guess. Okay, now blue team is retreating. Securing of material storage confirmed. But I'm not sure where blue team is retreating to. So confused. And to think, like, one level ago this game was like, ah, S rank, you are truly the greatest pilot. And I'm like, huh? Running and firing? You can do both? Two teams? Really what I should do is just read some of that 60 page instruction manual. Okay. Let me let me melee a tank. God. The gates will open in two minutes. Securing of munitions. 
Station storage confirmed. All right. All that's left now is the dock. Hurry. Roger. Okay, so now we're kind of meeting up at the end of the line here, I guess. So now I can have those guys do that. And I don't know why my team, blue team here, retreated. Seems like they should be continuing along this path. But I can't get them to do anything with that. Oh, wait. Oh my god. I figured it out, I think. There's like multiple sets of call signs you can use. Uh, like I can do uh, launch attack and then on the other team they're going to go back to trying to launch an attack I think. Uh, uh, I figured it out too late. Oh well. I don't know what I need to stop here. Are there like more? Oh, nice. Did I do it? Right at the buzzer? Okay. Alright, I kind of bumbled my way through it, but I predicted that I'd bumble my way through it. Am I going to get a B for bumbling? We have word from the ground troops. The surface has been secured, as well as the underground core section. Mission complete. Post guards until further notice. Over. Okay. So, the left uh, trigger button is the one that lets you pull down, like, attack, or, like, move forward. Uh, there's, like, a couple other buttons under there. And the right trigger button is the one that I kept flashing on screen all those times. Uh, which I can't use. Oh, thank you. I gotta update my hosting graphic. Uh, thank you for the host. Thank you for the host, Bond. The submarines and top secret documents are under analysis. We'll be able to build our own underwater craft before too long. Damn, we're gonna learn how to make submarines. Just gotta get the, uh, 40 foot tall robot to pick up one of the submarines so we can examine it. Alright, give me a B for bad. Big penalty. B. You can do better than that. B for bumbling. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We have captured California base, the largest in North America and the most vital strategic point. Nice. We did it. While remaining areas are secured, we will advance to Jaburo, the Federation South American base. Its exact location, however, is still unknown. Yes, that's canon. Our forces landed all around the Earth and took over numerous territories at lightning speed. However, we had expanded the battle lines so quickly we were unable to send enough supplies to all those front lines and failed to advance our forces any further. The Federation forces were unable to put up any kind of organized resistance as we had inflicted considerable damage. Stupid Feddies, always unable to do anything Still, right. We had to guard against any guerrilla warfare on our undermanned battle lines. With neither side able to deal a decisive blow to defeat the other, the war remained at a stalemate. Meanwhile, the Federation forces were developing mobile suits of their own that would rival ours. Is that the gun tank? That's a gun tank, right? We love the gun tank. That's the gun cannon. Wow. V project. We challenged a new type of mobile suit and battleship, the white one and the Trojan horse. A new type of mobile suit. The Trojan horse evaded Commander Shar's pursuit and descended into the North American territory. However, the enemy was unaware that Commander Shar had strategically forced them into an area currently under the control of Captain Garma Zabi. The enemy survived repeated attacks led by Captain Garma and attempted to escape. Yeah, but will Captain Garma survive repeated attacks by Captain Garma? I'm sure you've been informed about the V project discovered by Commander Shar. Shar. 
And you're aware that the top secret Trojan horse has not only managed to endure Commander Shar's relentless attacks, but has also eluded our own efforts to capture it. According to reports, they're presently hiding at the S3 point. The Solid Snake simulation? We must commence an immediate sweep of this area to prevent them from advancing any further and escaping our territory. I will therefore head a mobile squadron and crush the Trojan horse. Sounds great, Garma. Good luck with that. I'm sure it'll turn out great. Admiral Cassilia might not have sent me your unit for such operations as this, but I absolutely must sink the Trojan horse under my own command. It'll go great, I'm sure. I expect your full cooperation in this matter. Nothing bad ever happens to the zombies. All right, <sighs> new mobile suit designed, cool. Uh, let's save. Probably gonna call it relatively soon. Wasn't planning to stream for too long on this fine Sunday. Just wanted to kind of get a taste for what this very bizarre, over ambitious PS2 game is like, because that's like my favorite type of PS2 game. So I guess let's see what I can do for my next mission. Ah, that's the name of the team. That's the guys that I am. and locate the Trojan horse, as well as the mobile suits aboard the ship. The information we've received indicates they're hiding at the S3 point. In support of Captain Garma's operation, we will commence our search of the assigned area. I must emphasize that our mission is restricted to tracking down the Trojan horse or enemy mobile suits and informing the commander of their location. Leave the strike to Captain Garma's squadron. Garma wants all the credit for our hard work. That checks out. Hey, uh, remaining people, gunning people in the chat. Was there ever an 8th MS team video game? Because I feel like that's a huge missed opportunity. This game feels like it should be an 8th MS team video game. But it's not. Uh, and that's a problem. Damn, 78% Minovsky particles. I guess the weather is fair, calm, and dark, which I guess could also be used to describe myself. Uh, let's see, team setup. Oh, and route setup. Okay, that's what I got to remember to do this time. Oh, no. I can get another guy in here. Well, Roberto is just going to get sidelined because he doesn't know how to carry his shield. So he's out of here. The other two were good, good though. Uh, I'm sure a third team will make this go really well. Here we go. This is the the really ambitious shit. Uh, okay. And red team goes the other way. Oh, they just kind of end. Well, Red Team has it so easy, then. They just need to walk in a straight line. And then what? And then Green Team? I guess also just goes in a straight line. Oh, maybe this is why everybody was just stopped last time. Because maybe I didn't do it right. Oh, okay, so you can set the direction they're facing. Oh my goodness, this is so much. Okay. This is like a whole stream in unto itself. It's like... Carefully... Oh my god. Okay. So I want them to go this way, and we're going to rendezvous with blue team. I think?
Okay, so they're going to go this way. And they're going to stop here. And then I'm going to add a battle code. Here, wait for battle code A. And then... I'm going to say from here... You can advance. Uh, so then as blue team, when I get to ready to fight this target, I can tell them battle code A and we can both spring at the same time. It's tactics, baby. It's just tactics 101. Uh, Alright, so that's cool. What is uh, red team up to these days? Uh, no. Red team. I feel like I can just tell them to go. Red team's gonna be like, on their own here. They just take care of this one target. Boom. You cannot set a point there. Uh, let's see how well this works out. I cannot set a point there. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna add a battle code for A. All right. And we're all gonna group up. Perfect, all right, this is an ironclad battle strategy. Uh, blue team's gonna go do a huge sweep. Green team's gonna come in uh, and wait for the signal. And red team is similarly going to wait for the signal, and we're all going to collapse on the final point. This is a good plan. What could possibly go wrong? I'm sure it'll go swimmingly. We're going to give this a try, and then probably call it a day. It's my uh, best guess. Because now I have three teams, and it is taxing my brain. Cool news is that I don't think I've dropped any frames this stream, so I think that problem has been solved. That was a huge issue with the Ape Escape stream earlier this week. Uh, just like an absolute slideshow of a quote-unquote stream. All units, move out. Okay. Okay. Don't forget, you'll have limited visibility. Make use of your thermal sensors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Our mission is to find the Trojan horse and report its position. Don't forget that. So let's swap to thermal. Ah, I'm being hosted. I gotta change that host notification. Thank you for the host, Flarecat. I appreciate it. I hope your collab went well. Um, I apologize for scheduling something at the same time as you. I didn't realize. I'll try and avoid that in the future. Because uh, streamers strong together. Oh, there we go. I will always mind you. Don't tell me not to mind you. Uh, for those of us who are coming over from Flare's stream, uh, if, if any, I'm playing Mobile Suit Gundam Xeonic Front for the PS2. It came out in 2001. It is a third-person tactics game. Found the enemy, but it's only a small front. Confirmed. Commander, what are your instructions? They're probably patrol troops. They'll get in the way of our mission. You have permission to attack. Wipe Damn. Them out quickly. Roger. Cool. Uh, it's a tactics game. I've got, like, three teams that I can control here. Uh, and swap between. I just did the part where I like laid out a battle strategy or a uh, routing for this map, and uh, now I'm gonna try and make it happen. So back to blue team.
Yeah, so the, the lines on the radar here make a lot more sense than they did when I was in the caves last level. Uh, you won't get me. Oh, I'm being fired upon. Ow. I think I've come very far ahead of my team. Oh, I see. I can manually reload. Hmm. Yes, Char. Captain Garma's squadron has located an enemy mobile suit. Looks like the Trojan horse is not in the vicinity. What are your instructions? We will continue searching the area until further orders. You never know. There may still be enemy patrol troops. Okay. Okay. She has the one line for uh doing stuff. Ow. Oh. Oh. I don't know what got me. Uh, guess I retry? I don't know what got me there. I feel like I had decent health and then I just blew up. I guess it was probably the enemy mobile suit that they were talking about, but I did not see it on my radar. Or my thermal, rather. Okay. Don't forget, you'll have limited visibility. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Just following my little snaky path. Probably should not run so far ahead of my team. But walking is really, really slow. It was approximately here last time that I think Red Team reported finding units that I'll have to skip through that cutscene for, because I don't need to know that information. Yeah, nothing on Thermal so far. Nothing on Sonar. I found the enemy, but it's not the Trojan horse. Confirmed. Commander, what are your instructions? Yeah, yeah. We did that last time. Guys. Sounds like helicopters. Nice. Alright, that went better. of those tanks. Looks like there's more behind me. Captain Garma's squadron has located an enemy mobile suit. Looks like the Trojan horse is not in the vicinity. What are your instructions? We will continue searching the area until further orders. You never know. There may still be enemy patrol troops. Okay. Okay. They really couldn't get to... Okay, so I got, like, blown up right after that last time. But I don't know by what. Maybe it was just a fluke, and I'm not in a huge amount of danger. But I felt like I got, like, sniped a lot. 
like 100 to 0. So I don't know what happened. Oh, nice. Yes. Captain Garma's squadron has opened fire on the enemy. How good for them. Wait a minute. There's some disruption in the communication lines. What's going on? There's enemy fire from behind, Captain. From behind? It's the Trojan horse. Coming up behind us, sir. Ascend. Ascend now. I can't. Change course 180 degrees. I'll ram the cow right into them if I have to. Shar, you're not saying that. Blame it on the misfortune of your birth. It's happening. This can't be. It can be. Response from Captain Garma. See you, Garma. We're moving out from this area to confirm the situation regarding Captain Garma. Nothing bad ever happens to the zombies. Cool. I love that that also happened entirely through uh, voice with no like uh, captioning or anything. I was just staring at a static screen of my mobile suit not moving while I got the lovely audio transcript from, I guess, the dub of Gundam 0079. I don't know why they didn't include text for that. Kind of weird. Uh, anyway, uh, see ya, Garma. That was a fun three missions where you were my CO. This latest mission has given our unit valuable data on nighttime operations. However, however, on reaching the vicinity where we lost communication with Captain Garma, we were faced with a devastating nightmare. We found the remains of the Gao attack carrier and other aircraft, along with those of casualties. Everything was burning. The scent of defeat choked the air. Captain Garma went down in glory in his battle against the Trojan horse. <laughs> This was a terrible loss to all officers. Did he really though? Fought under his command in the North American operation. I want to see a PS2 render of like the 80 foot tall Garma portrait Today, that they have across the entire side of a building. Our line of siege and escaped our territory. Yeah. I mean, again, you're on the side of Zeon here. Uh so I guess they kind of got up. I've been assigned to take over Captain uh, Vice Admiral. There it is, duties. the big Garma picture. American territory. I know everyone feels that Lord Garma's untimely demise is a horrible setback. To bring honor to his great name, we cannot grieve forever, but must instead carry on our glorious leader's crusade against the Federation. Now, I want your unit to head to Odessa and provide backup for the troops in that area. Oh, hell yeah. We're just clipping right along. You should keep in mind that the request comes from the leader himself of the Odessa region, Captain Makuve. Makuve? Is that how you... Uh, I actually don't know how it's pronounced in the Japanese. I kind of just always pass over that name and just don't process it with any kind of sound. I'm just like, I know who this is. And it doesn't sound like anything because I've never needed to say it out loud. Uh, I don't remember what it sounds like in the original Japanese. But, uh... Captain Makuve. I guess that is how you'd pronounce that. Um, I don't have a better solution. According to intelligence received by the captain, the enemy is gathering to attempt a large-scale offensive in Odessa. I want to play as the Gyan. I love that robot. Significant transfer of troops have been observed in Asian territory, confirming this fact. Our forces are deploying troops to the Gobi Desert to counter the enemy's moves. All right, goodbye, North America. And guess what? You're the lucky ones. Yeah, We've that. We've chosen to send out your unit. North American division. That's uh that's correct, Bon. Uh they're calling him Makuve. Which sounds like a bionicle or something, frankly. But we don't have the luxury of transporting you by Gao attack carrier. 
As a result of capturing this base, we were able to build Yukon-type submarines, and they'll be a suitable means of transport to your final destination. Cool. Prepare to move out immediately. I'm... Also, as of today, uh, whatever. Hey, more guys. Being transferred to your unit. Over. More fellows. Mokube. Yeah, like I, like I was saying, I've never really thought about how you say that name. I will just read the letters and be like, I know who that character is, and I will not process it as, like, speech, because I've never needed to talk about him, because he's not important or cool. He just likes art. He's a big art appreciator. And that's it. MacV, yeah, that makes sense. Desert Fenrir. Desert Fenrir. I just want to see who my new pilot is. I don't actually want to play another mission, I don't think. Uh, but maybe. Maybe. I feel like ending the stream as a moment of silence for the great Garmazabi, tragically shot down in the line of duty. was to arrive at our destination tomorrow, but circumstances have changed. Our allies are already fighting the Federation forces in the Gobi Desert. The enemy has surrounded our forces number three supply base, and it appears we're the only ones close enough to deal with it. Our allies are in danger and need support. We, we cannot, cannot turn our backs on them. We will disembark and head to the supply base by way of land. Our mm -hmm. objective is to provide backup for the defense troops. I see. Protect the base from the enemy until reinforcements arrive. It's like that. First. Maneuver to the rear of the enemy's offensive line and break through the least protected area so that we may link up with our allies. According to intelligence, the enemy has taken over a section of the power plant. We intend to secure the power plant and restore the base's functions. Focus on eliminating the enemy inside, then leave the rest to the power plant crew. Once the station is restored, the base's functions should come back online. Yeah, I fully don't have the brain power to plan like Once three routes siege, to do a power plant. Function, uh, the enemy's command vehicle. I just want to see who my new pilot is. And hinder their supply lines. The enemy's in the desert and needs their supplies. So if we stall them out there long enough as we protect the base, they'll lose morale and have no choice but to retreat. There have been no reports so far of enemy mobile suits in the area. There's concern over some new Federation models that have been spotted on the outskirts. This particular mobile suit carries cannons on both shoulders. I've heard that the enemy has weakened a few areas in our defense line with the long-range support of this Bro, base. I'm about to get absolutely, like, obliterated by a single gun cannon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. every reason to believe that the mobile suit in question may appear in this battle. So we'll have to move on this quickly. Well, now I kind of want to play the mission and see the, an enemy mobile suit for the first time and see what that's all about. Uh, but it is getting kind of late, and I didn't want to stream for too, too long. Oh, hell yeah. P.O. Swaggered. Oh, this is just a really sad fellow, though. He's got a Zaku 1, a machine gun, no shield... And no support item. Like, I don't know why I'd use him over the one that has the bazooka. Huh. I don't, I don't understand. I guess he's just a guy to have in reserve if I, like, lose one of these guys and don't want to save scum? I don't know. Fire Emblem players, how do how does this usually work with permadeath? You're supposed to save scum, right? Like, I don't know why you wouldn't. Yeah, that's what I thought. I like this little tango that they've got green and red team doing, where they like cross paths like multiple times. I'm not really sure why. Uh, this seems like a problem. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I don't know why you just like let permadeath happen.
at any rate, I don't think I have the mental bandwidth to do a fifth mission today. Uh, I would like to actually like think about uh, my routing here and how to use these like battle of codes. So I think I will save it for another day, possibly next Sunday. Uh, maybe we can do Sunday Gundam streams uh, as a tradition. And then Thursday will be another round of Ape Escape 2. I have one more uh, of the first wave of bosses to fight. I'll be fighting a Red Monkey. And then uh, it's off to Spectre, I think. So we're nearing the end of Ape Escape 2. And then I will start uh, Ape Escape 3. Probably not right after it, but I'll uh, eh, do it sometime soon. I don't know what game I'll use to replace Ape Escape with when I finish it. Dark Cloud, maybe? Dark Cloud 1 or 2 would be a good option. I could do like a really short, like, shovelware game. I've got a couple of those. That might be good because we could finish them briefly and not have to have a long, long period between better games. I don't know. To bridge will cross when we get there. Rankings. Oh. Yeah, I think that does it for old Skeleton today. I gotta go. I was gonna say, like, rest these bones, but I'm actually gonna go do yard work now. Uh, so I wanna do that before it gets too dark. And then I gotta figure out dinner. So that's a whole other thing. Uh,. I don't really need to eat as a skeleton, but I do need to worry about feeding Vaughn, who probably won't feed themselves on their own. So, uh, it once again falls to me, or us, I should say. It's a team effort. Old man skeleton. Hey now. Damn. Hi, spooky surgeon. Uh, chat has increased by one gamer. Vaughn, Vaughn says they can feed themselves. I don't think that's true. That... Like, the track record doesn't really suggest that. Maybe in extreme circumstances. Or maybe... Maybe I'm just thinking about it wrong, right? Uh, as a human, I needed to eat, like, multiple times a day because I had a metabolism. But you're a tortoise, so I'm thinking... I'm maybe comparing apples and oranges here. Maybe you can feed yourself when you need to eat. Maybe when you need to eat, it's just, like, every two days. Uh, that might make more sense. Be in line with what I've observed. I'm just lazy. Yeah, well. Sure, I guess. Hmm. Uh, well, that's it for the PS2 stream this evening. Uh, thank you, everybody, for stopping by on a Sunday. I'm sure you all had better things to do, but you chose to be here instead, so I really appreciate it. Uh, I will be back again next week. I'll be putting up a schedule probably tomorrow evening on twitter.com where you can follow me at Fontero. Uh It's in the bottom left corner of my stream here as well. I should probably add it to my Twitch description, I guess. I'm not sure if I want to change my handle to be in line with like the Skeleton branding or what yet, but uh, yeah. I also think I have my Twitch schedule. It's like a feature you can do. There's like a schedule tab on the Twitch page itself. I'll be back with Ape Escape 2 at 7 p.m. EST. On Thursday the 25th uh, and then I will be back probably again on Sunday this same time 3 p.m. EST with more of this game I think until I get really burned out on this I don't want to start too many different discrete uh, games at the same time so I think two is probably the maximum limit that I can juggle mentally I also don't have very much free time to actually schedule streams, so I can probably only do two a week anyway. So that's probably the plan. Uh, I'm going to go do yard work now. i got to plant a lot of grass. Uh, big Kusa over here. And I will catch you all in the coming week. Thank you for stopping by and have a lovely evening.